How's it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and today I'm going to show you the easiest and most efficient way to transfer all your data from your old iPhone to a new iPhone that you just got. The coolest thing about this process is that it's super easy, it's a native feature, so of course we don't need to download anything, it's a native iPhone feature and it's also compatible with all iPhones starting with the iPhone 5S so super compatible and to get even better we don't need a backup so no need for iCloud backup to buy storage nothing like that there's no need for a backup at all and you don't need a computer either we just need both iPhones side by side and we're gonna transfer all of our data like magic and I do mean all of our data absolutely everything from this iPhone I'm gonna transfer to this one they'll be completely identical. So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, in order for this process to work, we do need to have both iPhones with us, side by side. So, the old iPhone and the new iPhone as well. If for some reason you plan on getting a new iPhone and you know you won't be having both of them with you, there's a different process and I do recommend that you go ahead and click on this card right here, link in the description, so you can see my other process where you won't have both iPhones with you. So I'm gonna teach you how to prepare the old phone and then when you get the new phone, how to recover all of the data, okay? So again, this is only if you have both iPhones with you. Okay, so now that everything is clear, we can begin. And the first thing we're gonna make sure is that the new iPhone, the iPhone you just got, is in the hello screen. You know, the setup screen, that's right, it's gotta be on that screen. If you bought a brand new iPhone, it's gonna be in the hello screen. But if not, if it's a pre-owned iPhone and it's like that, you gotta make sure it's reset, okay? So all you gotta do is go to your settings, and then scroll down until you see general and then scroll all the way down until transfer or reset iPhone and then erase all content and settings, the last option. And then you're gonna make sure that you erase the new iPhone, okay? So continue, you can go ahead and type in the passcode for the iPhone, then tap on next and then skip backup, you don't need that. And then if it asks for an Apple ID password, go ahead and type that in as well. Again, you gotta make sure that this phone is reset. Then you can tap on turn off. It's gonna turn off Find My and Activation Lock. So let it do its thing. And then as you can see, you can erase iPhone and then it's gonna erase automatically. So let's wait for this process. It'll probably just take a couple minutes and then when I see the hello screen, we can begin. So as you can see, my new iPhone is on the hello screen, so I'm ready to get started. All I have to do is swipe up here until we get to the language, right? And we don't need to do anything on this phone now. And on my old iPhone, the iPhone I have all of my information, right? I gotta make sure I'm connected to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned on, okay? So connected to Wi-Fi network and Bluetooth is on. This will make our life so much easier. And if by just getting both iPhones closer, you don't see a pop-up, no problem. Just lock the screen and then wake it. And as you can see, set up new iPhone. That's the feature. So unlock to continue, you can use Face ID. And then as you can see, we're setting up the new iPhone. So we're gonna use our old iPhone to set it up. So now we're gonna need to actually position here on the camera as we do on the Apple Watch. You have probably already seen this process before, okay? And as you can see, now they are getting connected. So we're connecting both iPhones via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And as you can see here, set up new iPhone. It got all the information and you can tap on set up for me. So then tap there. And then on the new iPhone right here, it's gonna ask for this iPhone's passcode. Okay, just to make sure that you are you. So type in on the new iPhone, your old iPhone passcode. So type it in and then tap on next. And then it's gonna start setting up, as you can see right there. So setting up. 
make sure both iPhones are next to each other during this process, connected to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on, as I mentioned. As you can see, the new iPhone has already got my Wi-Fi network and that was done automatically, as you can see. And now we just gotta wait. So you can leave both iPhones side by side and wait a few seconds. But before I continue, I'd like to show you how you can get this on your Apple Watch, a full WhatsApp experience on your wrist. That's right, this is WhatsApp. Let me show you. Okay, all you gotta do is download this app from the App Store on your iPhone, WChat for Watch. I'm gonna have a direct link in the description. Then, get your Apple Watch and open up the app that's downloaded automatically on the watch, okay? Wait for it to fetch details, scroll down, and then you're gonna read this QR code using WhatsApp on your iPhone. Now get your iPhone, open up WhatsApp, go to settings and then linked devices, and then link a device, authenticate with your face, and then scan the QR code. And then just like that, WChat will start loading all your WhatsApp messages. It's gonna take a few seconds and as you can see right here, perfect. You've got WhatsApp on your wrist. And of course, you can tap on any chat and take a look at the conversation, audio messages, any kind of messages, text messages, photos, videos, absolutely everything. And of course, not only see, but also send. So you can tap here on text, for example, tap on WChat keyboard, and then you have a full keyboard. So you can go ahead, tap on OK, for example, send, and then there you go. As you can see right here, message sent. You can send audio messages as well. It's recording already, and you can go ahead and hit send as well. So as you can see, it's a full WhatsApp experience right here on your wrist. So check out WChat right now, first link in the description. Now, back to the video. The new iPhone is gonna ask for Face ID. You can go ahead and set up or you can set up later. I'm gonna set up later just to make things a little bit quicker. And as you can see here, this is the screen we want. Transfer your data. So how are we gonna actually transfer the data? From iCloud or from iPhone. And remember when I said that we don't need iCloud, that's right, because we're gonna use transfer from iPhone. So you can go ahead and simply tap here on transfer from iPhone and the transfer will be done automatically just by connecting both iPhones side by side. So no iCloud is needed, no backup is needed. It's absolutely free and easy as you can see. So I'm gonna agree here on terms and conditions and it's gonna start setting up my Apple ID and I'm gonna do the process step by step with you, okay? So let's wait for this to conclude. And so, as you can see here, it's saying make this your new iPhone and it's showing everything that will be transferred. So all of my apps and data settings, all of my wallets, so all of my credit cards, and even my Apple Watch. As I said, it'll transfer everything. So, continue. Let's let it do its thing now. And so, as you can see, we're gonna get to this screen. So transferring data from Daniel's iPhone 14 Pro, which is this guy right here. So as you can see, I got both iPhones on the same screen, showing that's transferring all of the data from here to here. Please keep in mind that this is the process itself. So it could take a while, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is and the amount of data you have on your phone. It could vary from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to up to hours, depending on your speed and the amount of data. As you can see here, around 36 minutes. So let's wait and I'll be back when that's done. And so 27 minutes later, we're done. As you can see, transfer complete right here on my old iPhone, and we have the hello screen on the new iPhone, but everything is set. You can swipe up and then enter your passcode, which will be this iPhone's passcode, your old iPhone passcode, because of course, it's gonna transfer the passcode as well, so you can type it in. Of course, you can put your old iPhone to the side, you don't need it anymore, and right here, you can tap on OK, and restore complete, continue, it's gonna ask again for a face ID, so you can set up now or again set up later. I'm gonna set up later just to make this video a little bit faster. Agree on terms and conditions and let it do its thing. I um, don't wanna improve Siri right now and I can swipe up and this is my iPhone. As you can see, this iPhone is identical to my old iPhone right here. I'm gonna show you in a second, but before that, 
make sure that if you're gonna sell or give away your old iPhone, you can already go ahead and erase it from here, okay? This is super important. The iPhone is already asking you if you wanna erase this iPhone because if you're transferring from this to this, it's thinking that you're gonna sell the old one. So you can go ahead and erase this iPhone right there from the spot. If not, you can tap on not now. And then as you can see, both iPhones are absolutely identical. So same wallpaper, same widget, same applications, absolutely everything. As you can see here, my apps are being loaded right now. Some of the remaining apps are being loaded right now. And all they have to do is wait a few minutes and then everything will be done. As you can see, just a few apps are still downloading in the background, but they're exactly the same. All of my files, all of my data, all of my notifications, badges, absolutely everything is copied from this iPhone to this iPhone right here. As you can see, it's being downloaded right now. So that's it. Thanks for watching. That's the easiest and most efficient way to transfer all your iPhone data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye bye guys.